Hey guys, it's Wanda. Welcome to Crazy Days, and it is a high tunnel update from the Queen Dome. Today, it's not what I expected. I did not expect to find this in my greenhouse. Now these peas, these are the black-eyed peas, I believe, on this side. I expected to have peas galore. And I came in here two or three times, and I kept finding... Um, let me see if I can find it. It looked like this here. And you see there's ants on them. And I said that probably ants were getting them. And here. So I kept thinking, is ants what's going on? But now I have beautiful pollination. What was happening was two things that I did not think about. One was... We had a storm coming in and I shut the doors. So there were no bees coming in to pollinate, so lack of pollination. But all the peas I had kept disappearing. I had peas galore and they would get up full peas. I'd come to get them and I found them under here somewhere laying on the ground. I don't see them right at the moment, but they were under here on the ground, all under here. All, there they are. See my full peas? I've got a rat. Y'all, I have a rat in my greenhouse. Can you think? What you? I mean, really. So every time a pea would get ready, he was grabbing it and running. And the only way I found him was I was down here watering, and when the water hit him, he jumped and ran and ran to the other side. So Danny's put out stuff to try and catch the rat, and we're going to see if we can catch him. But do you see, everywhere there's supposed to be peas, there are none. Between the ants and the rat, he got them all. I would come in here to get peas that I was watching, and they'd be gone. So yesterday, I think I got a good handful that were ready, because Danny's been trying to keep the rat at bay. But isn't this beautiful? This is the black-eyed peas, and they're just doing great. And during the storm, we had the doors shut for about four days. So that was part of my problem was pollination. But now the doors is open. I'm going to turn the fans back on and stuff like that. And we'll be venting really well. The radishes are starting to come up. Now, I was real iffy if they would even do anything this time of year. But they are. My little corner with the aloes, the flowers. I've got a, my uh, Confederate roses that Miss Slippy sent is doing great. The new peppercorn is doing good. The little tea tree's doing good. This is my little junk corner, I guess you'd call it. This peppercorn has just really taken off and it's got all these little things on it and they turn black in there. I'm not sure if they're getting pollinated or not. I'm not sure how that's working. We're just experimenting with the peppercorn right now. The petunia's doing great. The lantana's doing great. And this peppercorn is doing good. You can see it's all the way up to here. The Cherokee tan just went to town again. This is the second time that it has totally covered everything in here. Blooms galore. I probably have 10 more new Cherokee tans or more on this. And blooms and stuff galore coming out. Uh, some of them didn't pollinate during the storm, but afterward, man, I've, I've got a whole bunch of little pumpkins in there again. And we're just letting the Cherokee tan go because, quite frankly, it's just pretty and I'm getting food. The onions are doing good. Um, these are the Egyptian walking onions. I took a lot out. They're multiplying again. This flower has kind of got an issue. I think the ants got to it as well as my okra, you can see. But this is the one problem Besides the rat, I wasn't expecting love bugs are hitting. And if you don't know what a love bug is, look it up. They're a curse of the south after a hurricane, especially this time of the year. But I'm starting to get a little bit of Star of David okra. So I'm excited on these two. Well, three. I've got three of them. But we do have ants in this side. Now, this was the other side. This is my pink-eyed purple holes. I should be eating purple hole peas every day off of these. There's enough here for me to eat. 
I wasn't getting any, and I was really disappointed. And again, Danny said pollination was a problem because I had the doors shut for a few days when they were blooming. And the little rat was running all through here. So I wasn't expecting a rat in my greenhouse, but he's been here. I've got a lot of blooms now. We're going to pray that the rat is either eradicated or we find him soon. These are the red ripper peas that I planted in here just to see what happens. And these usually go crazy. And you see, they're already at the top. I've been running them back and forth. They're finally growing and doing what they need to do. They're not blooming yet, but it won't be long. So these red rippers are looking really awesome. And then the trail of tears. They're about to play out now. All the others, they didn't get pollinated when they first started blooming because I shut the doors but they're dying out up there not making beans like they did i'm only getting a few occasionally and they're singles so the second batch did not do as well as the first batch the first batch of trelateers did twice the three plants i've got a few here and there that are hanging in there but they're not the big long pretty beans like the others were so probably We'll give this another two or three weeks, but this will come out for something else to be planted for the fall. My lonely little cotton plant, I'm just letting it grow because I want to. But you can see, love bugs. Before long, this whole greenhouse will be black with those things. If I have to leave the doors open for pollination, we'll have love bugs. But in that a pretty plant, just just because. And look at this. The one thing I know I can grow and Danny can grow is cucumbers. So we're going to see. In the fall, can we grow cucumbers in a greenhouse and them still produce enough for us to have some to eat fresh? Here, in between my giant mum plants that are coming up and my uh, ginger in the back. This is about three weeks. Look what they're doing. I don't even know if it's been three weeks, a good two to three weeks, and they're already this high. We're going to see. The onion chives are doing good. The wild lettuce is hanging in there. And like I said, pumpkins and blooms, little pumpkins, y'all, they're in here everywhere. See two more hanging down here. One more up here, one more in there. I mean, you can't beat it. They're doing awesome in here. And it's between the Cherokee trail, the Cherokee pumpkins and the red ripper peas. This is going to look awesome, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed a little bit more of, hey, this is what it's looking like in here. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.